A unique and ambitious project is being realized in the deserts of Kuwait. Located on the shores of the Gulf, at the entrance to Sabah al-Ahmed Sea City, is Kuwait's newest marina, with a capacity to berth 410 yachts, engineered and built in country to five-star world-class standards. But to create and build the marina in the desert, its engineers have had to face some tough challenges. Locating and sinking each of the 460 18-meter piles with pinpoint accuracy in water, manufacturing floating concrete pontoons that are so stable that they give the experience of walking on land, delivering all the power, water and services efficiently to each and every berth. The whole marina is designed and built from the ground up in Kuwait to be efficient and world-class with combined skills and engineering. Once the decision that this marina was going to be constructed out of concrete rather than a prefabricated frame system, there was no logic, sense or uh, merit in doing anything other than constructing it locally. Uh, to transport units up to 60 tons across international borders would have been crazy and from all uh, aspects. Furthermore, uh, as a major construction company in our own rights, one of our key skills is, is that of concrete. So to get a third party to do this, uh, again, also seemed uh, a somewhat bizarre idea. So the way that we concluded uh, the thoughts was that uh, with collaboration with specialist designers of uh, marinas, together with the skills of our staff, that we could uh, best uh, build this here locally and what you see behind is the uh, fruits of all our labors. The piles are the backbone of the marina. Everything flows from them. Locating the 18 meter long piles in the water is the biggest challenge. These 650 millimeter diameter piles must be sighted with absolute precision. The engineers had to triangulate from the shore to place them deep in the ground under the water. The machinery to drive the piles is massive. Directing the pile drivers to within a few millimeters meant the engineers had to use new ways of working together. There's no room for error. Once a pile is driven in, it's there forever. They had to get it right. First time, every time. The path to success was to bring the risk out into open view, look at it carefully and then share skills to make it happen. The uh, principal challenge with um, piling on our system is that of uh, accuracy. Um, our system is a concrete system and requires um, very precise connectivity with the pile. Piling on water means that uh, the water is mobile. The rig that does the piling is mobile. So we have to survey hold the barge in place, survey again, and start piling slowly, slowly, making sure not only the uh, position of the pile is correct, but also the verticality is correct. A few degrees out, and the, uh, the pontoon will not rise up and fall down the, uh, the pile. One of the principal challenges and one of the targets of the project was to help local fabricators, local suppliers, to improve on their own quality, their own capabilities. So we would invest time and uh, investment and uh, to a degree intellect into their own systems to try and improve their own capability, which then improved our own product. Um, although we are only producing pontoons for ourselves, um, we are producing up to 28 large concrete units a week, um, which probably takes us to be one of the most productive pontoon production yards in the world. With a plan in place, the first pile is tentatively sunk after a check, the pile is perfect. With the success of driving in the first pile accurately, they start to make the marina. Now all they have to do is to replicate the process and plant 459 more piles. With painstaking accuracy, Next, the pontoons. The design calls for pontoons that give the experience of walking on land, although they float in the water. To achieve the result they want, 
The pontoon's design is an expanded polystyrene foam center coated in 10 centimeters of high-grade concrete. All the pontoons are different. Each is cut to an intricate and precise design according to the size of the berth and to create the overall shape of the marina. To ensure consistent quality and accuracy, the pontoons would all be built on site. This is a key ethos of the Sabah al Sea City project, to be self-reliant with innovation. First, the pontoon is assembled in the mold with polystyrenes. All the expanded polystyrene is made in Kuwait. This is more efficient and environmentally friendly than flying in from other countries and helps with the planet's carbon footprints. Then the concrete coating is poured over it. Kept moist as it sets to ensure maximum strength. After 72 hours, the pontoon is extracted using a straddle carrier. This mobile crane can maneuver around the molds to lift and position. Each pontoon weighs around 40 tons, but because of the volume of the polystyrene core and mass, they will float on water. The pontoons are launched into the sea. The biggest pontoons demand some of the biggest cranes available. It's a careful operation. One slip and the concrete skin will crack and break. Once floated in the water, the pontoon is gently towed into position. The gangways which form the spine of the marina are the first to be built. Carefully over time, the new marina takes shape as more and more units are installed. Everything in the building of the marina has been made in Kuwait. From the Italian designed pontoons to the building of the molds to the polystyrene manufacture. Challenges have been many. You know, starting from the size, its shape to be cut, then its uh, transportation to the site and meeting the requirements. So we have to comply to their daily schedule. And also, it's not just one shape. There have been more than 350 different shapes. And there has been around more than 3,578 pieces which we have generated till date. And the quantity is around 31,000 cubic meters. So you can imagine that each day, each moment, we are generating a different shape. We are carving, rather it is a carving. We are carving from a massive rectangular block, a special a creation. Six months later, all the pontoons are locked and floating in place. Underneath, the gangway's ducts provide the means to run essential services to each berth, water and power. The services terminate at each berth with a bespoke pedestal. They're fitted with a universal plug to supply up to 250 amps and a tap for fresh drinking water. The marina is officially opened on the 16th of April 2015 with the Kuwait government for everyone to see and enjoy. It's a unique project. It shows the uh, ability of uh, the uh, Kuwaiti company, private sector in Kuwait, on doing such big projects, major projects.
It is a very important project for Kuwait. Uh, most of the uh, Kuwaiti citizens, uh, they are attached to the to the hobby of the sea, and he is one of them. And he believed that this project will be an add-on on uh, uh, the sea sports in Kuwait. I hope people will look at it the same way that we are. Uh, it's a huge project. It's a, uh, it gives a big added value to Kuwait. Uh, and we hope that we can come out of the best outcome for, for this project for Kuwait and for the people to enjoy it. Able to moor craft from small leisure boats to 130-foot luxury ocean yachts, Sabah Al Ahmed Sea Cities Marina has been built to exacting standards. Ready to offer a world-class service for Kuwait's seagoing enthusiasts, marine industry, and global visitors.